everybody. I'm Becca. I'm Margaret. And I'm Lizzie. And welcome to the elementary video for September week two. All through September, we are talking about trust. Trust is putting your confidence in someone you can depend on. Let's say that together. Trust mm -hmm. is putting your confidence in mm -hmm. someone you can depend on. Our first week, we talked about how you can trust God even when you have to wait. And today's story, if you've already watched it, is about how you can trust God no matter what. Today, for our activity, you're going to need a well, you're going to need some water, and you're also going to need some paper. I would like you to start by considering this question. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you... What is a situation that you have to trust God for? I want you to think about it, and then I want you to choose one of your water colors, and I want you to draw it on the paper, or you can write it on your paper. So I have a piece of paper for each person here, and a well for each person here. They both have a well. All right. Here you go. You can draw or you can write. While you're thinking about what situations you have to trust God for, I am going to ask a couple questions about the story for you to just think about. What do you think would have happened to Jacob if he decided to stay and fight for his wells? You see, the Philistines wanted to control all the water in the area, and so they were putting dirt in his wells. And he could have stayed, and he could have used his fists and his armies and his muscles, and he could have fought them. But what do you think would have happened? Maybe his family would have gotten hurt. Maybe he would have ended up with no water, no wells, and then he would also have a hurt family. Maybe the well would have dried up eventually, and then he would have made big enemies in the land. And then he also wouldn't have had water. But instead, what did Jacob do? Jacob trusted God. He packed up all his things, and he moved to a different place and dug a new well. And then the Philistines came again, and they kicked him out of his land. And he said, it's all right. I'll trust God. I'll just go. He didn't know that where he was going to move next would have a good place to dig a well, but he trusted, and he did. Jacob knew that he could trust God no matter what, and we can trust God no matter what. So what's the situation that you have where you need to trust God? What are you drawing? What are you writing about, Margaret? Oh, the waves. When I when the water, uh, I there are so many shells poking my uh, feet. It mm -hmm. and then I said, God, will you please help this not be very painful? And it worked. It even though they were still poking my feet, it wasn't that painful anymore. That's awesome. God helped you be, to be brave at the beach, and God helped you to face hard things like shells and pokey and spiky things too. Because you can trust God no matter what. Thanks for sharing. Lizzie, what are you asking God to help you trust him with? Um, to make a circle wave. Oh, to help you make things? Yeah. Yeah. Because you can try so, so hard all on your own. But if you trust God to ask him for help, God can help you with things like art and math and help you pay attention. And then when you're trying, you're not all by yourself. Mm -hmm. Jacob knew that he could trust God no matter what. And we know that we can trust God no matter what. Hey, Margaret isn't done yet, but she already told you what her situation that she trusted God with was. And now we're going to put our trust in the well. Margaret, can you roll up your picture and we're going to put it in the well? Because we can trust God no matter what. That's a big one. That is a big one. You can take time and you can finish your drawing. You can finish your sentence. You can even think of more ways that you are trusting God. Like me, Mama. Like you. And when you're done, put it in the well. Have Mama, a great week, everybody. Oh, you can take more time and finish if you're not done. Just like Lizzie. Does everyone want to say goodbye?
Bye. Lizzie, do you want to say goodbye? Bye, bye. In case you speak Spanish, adios. Adios, amigos. Adios, amigos.